Congressman, thanks so much for being with us. I, I know that Senator McCain died nine years to the day after your own father, so this has to bring up so many emotions for you and your family, so for that, we're sorry. I was in the room when Senator John McCain eulogized your father like that, and what jumped out to me nine years ago, and what I'm reminded of this morning, is when he said, I think I'm going to miss him more than I can say. When John McCain said that out loud nine years ago, you felt that he meant it. And this morning, I think America feels the same way about John McCain. I think we're going to miss him more than we can say. What are you going to miss about John McCain? Well, thanks, John. I th you really point to the essential element about John McCain and that he's been an institution, uh, someone who we can't ever take for granted, especially in times like this, when uh, the kind of statesmanship that he offered is so appreciated. And missing that uh, voice uh, in a time where so many people appear to be so petty is going to be something that I think all Americans uh, mourn. Uh, they mourn the man, but they mourn what his message was to this country, and that is that we ought to uh, strive to be better. Uh, and no one could deliver that message with more authenticity than a great American war hero who had dedicated his life on behalf of his country. He uh, articulated a message of values, and you knew that they weren't platitudes to John McCain. They were uh, heartfelt, um, and that's what people connected to. They knew he spoke from a place of integrity. Uh, he believed what he said. He didn't suffer fools very well. I had the privilege of serving on the Armed Services Committee with him, and I recall we had many members who wanted to beat their chests about um, being tough on Vietnam, you know, 40 years after the fact. And, and John McCain was like, no, we need to have reconciliation. Um, he wasn't looking for the quick popularity. He was really in it for the real uh, essential truth of whatever the issue was that he was advocating for. Um, I'm so proud that he received the John F. Kennedy a Profiles and Courage Award, because he exhibited those Profiles and Courage throughout his life on many different issues. Um, and of course, on that issue, it was uh, campaign finance reform. He understood yeah. that money was destroying democracy, and he cared about this country. And you know, he, he focused on those issues that were really undermining um, what made this country great. And so, that is why Americans so mourn this man um, and why we will always remember him for who he was. Your father was a real old-fashioned liberal. John McCain, a true Reagan Republican in every sense of the word. How do you explain their genuine friendship and what do you want people to know about it? Well, they both recognized and, and loved each other's uh, passion. I mean, for my father's par part, everyone knew how passionate he was, and that was known for John McCain. He, he really loved uh, the fight, but he never let that get in the way of respect. And that's what's missing in today's politics, is that um, genuine respect for democracy, and then for the people who dedicate themselves to democracy. Um, he knew that my father cared for this country. He knew my father had lost his brothers for this country. Um, he knew that my father um, was part of this country, and he respected that. And, and my father genuinely uh, loved and respected John McCain. Um, it's an example of what we need today, again, and that is that even though they disagreed, they were always searching for ways to put their country ahead of their party. And, and it sounds so trite, but no, no, not at all. In these days that we're living in, we really need people to have that as their goal. Mm -hmm. um, both of them used to take their issues and then find out where they overlapped and then knew that they had to work on those issues where they overlapped rather than spending all their time disagreeing on those issues that they differed. And that is a, um, a rule of thumb mm -hmm. that we definitely need more of in the United States Senate and the United States Congress. Anyone who ever heard, by the way, 
your father laugh or John McCain laugh would not be surprised at all that the two became friends because the joy of laughter and the joy of life that they both exhibited make them naturals to have been together. You were talking about finding that common ground and something that John McCain said about your father jumps out at me. He said his uncanny sense for when differences could be bridged in his cause advanced by degrees. That's what you're talking about, the ability to find ways to get something done even when there are disagreements. And as I'm looking at pictures on the screen of your father with John McCain, I think it does beg the question, is that lost forever? Can this ever exist again? Oh, it absolutely can. Um, the founding fathers of our country, which now include uh, John McCain and all of those who dedicated themselves to the principle that our founding fathers had for the United States Senate particularly, is that it was the uh, cup uh, that real, the saucer that held the cup so that it wouldn't be too hot. Like democracy's passions can get over um, zealous and we need some cooling off and, and better minds to prevail uh, so that we could come to compromise. You know, politics is a substitute for violence. And everywhere else in the world, they've never quite gotten that reconciliation. America is the longest surviving democracy, and yet it's not that long a period in the total history of this world. And so we cannot take for granted that the normal in this country is democracy and us talking to one another. So um, I, I hate to kind of say this, but I think John McCain would want it constantly said that the real uh, heroes in this country are the ones that are not scoring political points for partisanship, but are that are trying to fight to have our national interests prevail over our mm -hmm. partisan ones. And, uh, and he was a fierce partisan, mm -hmm. as was my mm -hmm. father, but they understood the higher calling. Um, and I appreciate your comments about them both laughing. Um, they had a, a great sense of, uh, the reverence for um, uh, the, the thought that you could have a great personal relationship mm -hmm. and still um, fight it out on the politics. Congressman Patrick Kennedy, thanks so much for being with us and sharing your memories uh, of the late Senator John McCain as well of that as your father. Really appreciate you having here this morning. I appreciate being on, John. Thank you very much.